Okay, I'm going to review my Jordan 4 Gold Spitzics. But first, I'm going to move Garfield. He just said G like that. He wanted to get in the video. See, his name is G Phil, not Garfield. I was obviously got thug life, but whatever. He didn't move. Oh, whatever. Let's get started with the shoe. Got a little bubble right there for cushion on this side. Got the same thing. Got a design right here. Got Jordan across the tongue. I don't know if you can see it, but you have a little Jordan emblem right there on the shoelaces. Nothing really that special. Got the Brooklyn right there. On the bottom it says Jordan. I did get these shoes a couple of like a month ago, but they were used. No, but it's whatever. I still like them. You can see there's this a lot of cracking though. I do want to get these re repainted to keep the same color. And it's not this shoe, but the other shoe has tears right here, all right here, right here. But still wherever. I still wear them a couple times of in a week. There is like no grip though on the bottom. I do use them just to slide around sometimes though. I get bored. There's no grip at all. And the other shoe. See no grip also. But when I was talking about the tears, you see it right there, the tears, cracks and tears. The heat got all the tears. But the one thing I do like is you see right there. That little, the in the design. Design also. But on these shoes, I did change the uh, the inner part on both of these. One blue. Because the when I first got them, it was all good on this side, but after a couple of times wearing them, now it's just starting to get messed up, so I just take them out. Let's last look at the shoe itself. And this is a review of my Jordan 4 Gold Spizzix.